You saw what happened? People tend to be putting a whole lot of their life status on Facebook. In fact, someone who is very active on Facebook can actually be revealing more than what he is supposed to reveal. In fact, just by looking at his status updates, you can see when he is on a high, when he is on a general low in mood. Facebook is such a happening place that sometimes I suspect, are people as active in their real life as they are on Facebook? What comes to your mind when I say, analyze a given data? What is data to begin with? So, how many times do I smile in a day? How many strides of walk do I take every day? What is my salt intake on an average per day? Sugar intake. How much junk do I eat? How many hours do I sleep? Don't you think if I get this data for one full year and then analyze it, what exactly can one infer? We probably can infer how healthy a lifestyle we are living, right? This is what you mean by data analytics, analyzing the given data. If something as simple and straightforward as number of walking strides you take per day says something about your fitness level, what about the data that you update on Facebook, your overall activity on Facebook? Do you think we can infer something from an active Facebook user? The fact is, it's not just something, we can infer a whole lot of things. Assume I take all the data that you have shared on Facebook from the past one month. Status 1, status 2, status 3, status 4, up to let's say some 100 status messages that you have shared from the past one month. By observing this, what can I infer? For example, if my status was something like, Life isn't as fair as I expect it to be. Don't you think I'm sounding slightly negative? Right? Second example. Assume my status were to be something like this. I am proud of my country. I, I made it sound positive, but irrespective of the tone in which one might um, uh, talk, the very sentence, I am proud of my country, gives a positive connotation. Right? Now, let's look at the third example. Set your goals right. It's a very suggestive one-liner. Neither positive nor negative. It's neutral. Correct? Do you see the sentiment of the first sentence being negative? Second being positive? The third being neutral. As and always, what are we doing? Programming, of course. I told you three sentences and even told you and you realized that it was positive, negative and neutral. Is there any way we can write a piece of code which does the same? Without any human intervention, what if we can use computer programs to predict what is the sentiment of a given sentence? Of what use will that be? You know where I am getting at. I told you I take one month's data of a person which comprises of 100 status messages. He, he has updated 100 status messages. I take all of them, S1, S2, S3 up to S100. And then I look at the sentiments of these sentences. Assume 80 on 100 were negative, which means this person is undergoing some trauma in his life or isn't in general a happy person. On the contrary, what if 90 messages out of 100 were full of joy? It means this person, if you're on the lookout for a spouse, you should marry this person, right? A very happy partner uh, will sort of spread happiness and happiness as you know is contagious, right? What amount of these 100 status messages are positive? How many of them are negative? And how many of them are neutral? Don't you think if we ask and answer this question, we can say something about the person himself? I am interested in doing the following exercise. I want to take all the status messages I have ever updated on Facebook. 
ever since I was part of the Facebook. Let's say from 2008, I think I'm there on Facebook. It's been more than 10 years. So what I would like to do is download all my status updates and try to analyze all of them by looking at the sentiments of individual status updates and see which are the months I was um, more happy than unhappy and months where I was unhappier than happier, times when I was neutral and so on. You see, you can ask a lot of questions, but the hurdle here is how do I download my data, which is 10 years old? Once downloaded, how do I measure the sentiments of my status updates? This, in fact, is very easy to do today. In fact, you can do it for your own Facebook data as well. And we are going to illustrate it for you. Point number one, we'll tell you how to download your Facebook data. Point number two, Python to our rescue. We will tell you how to use the exact Python API to analyze your Facebook data.